Hello and welcome aboard our Piper Cherokee Cruiser. We're on the ground at Santa Maria Airport in Southern California. And we're going to be taking a short flight over to San Luis Obispo, about 23 nautical miles to the north. Both Santa Maria and San Luis Obispo are Class Delta controlled airspace. We will be communicating with air traffic control via Pilot Edge today. We're also going to be using ForeFlight throughout the flight. Uh, just to show you what route we're going to be taking, here's a look at SkyVector. So we're here on the ground at Santa Maria Hancock Field, and we're going to be going northwest up to San Luis Obispo. As you can see, uh, Santa Maria is class delta as depicted by the segmented blue ring around the airport. And it's class delta from the ground to 2,800 feet, and San Luis Obispo is class delta from the ground to 2,700 feet. So we'll be getting our clearance to depart to the north, and then we will contact the San Luis Tower about 10 nautical miles out for our landing clearance. So let's hop inside the airplane and get it started from a cold, dark state. This is an airplane I just uploaded and I'm, I'm just now getting familiar with. So let's jump inside and go through our checklist and get it started and get on our way. By the way, today I'm not going to be using this call sign right here, 9617 Whiskey. I'm going to be using 7428 Romeo. The reason for that is uh, this is an airplane that I just started flying in real world. And part of what I'm doing today is to get more familiar with the airplane and also get familiar with the tail number that I'm using in real world flight. Documents and handbook complete. Seats adjust. Seat belts secure. Brakes set. Radio switches off. All right, let's make sure all of our switches are off. Avionics smash is off. Smash the switch off. Strobe, fuel pump, landing light, rotating beacon, and interior lights. Okay, looks like all our switches are off. Ignition switch off. Ignition switch is off. <clears throat> Master switch off. Check. Circuit breakers check in. Circuit breakers are in. Fuel tank selector fullest. I'm going to add a little fuel here. Not enough for a three hour flight. We're not going to be flying that long, but so that gives us just over a half a tank, both left and right. And we are set to the right tank, and they're both equal, so I'm going to leave it there. Starting engine, carburetor heat, cold. Carb heat is set to cold right here. Mixture, rich. Mixture set to full rich. Prime, if cold. So we are going to prime it, which is a cold start. We'll give it three pumps. Check. Master switch, bat slash alt, on. Master switch is on. Rotating beacon, on. Rotating beacon on. Fuel pump, on slash pressure slash off. So we're going to look over here for fuel pressure with the fuel pump on. And we are showing fuel flow in the green, and we're going to turn the pump off. Throttle, one-fourth open. Throttle open one-quarter. Propeller area, clear. Clear prop. Ignition switch, start. All right, so it has a starter button, so we're going to press and hold until start. And we have a good start. Throttle, 800 RPM. Reducing throttle. Looks like the lowest I'm going to get is just below 900, so I'm going to leave it there. Oil pressure, check, after 30. Oil pressure is in the green. Light slash radio slash transponder, on. All right, Master Avionics is on. Uh, I'm looking at the connection page, and there's no one listed as 245 Foxtrot Romeo connected to the pilot's network. So you need to go check your connection page and verify okay, what you're actually so connected to. Somebody in. else, that's not us. Ah, thank you. I'll be back. Okay, so transponder. I set that to standby. Lights. We have the beacon on. We're going to turn on the strobe. And radio. John went on. Right. We'll set those in. We're going to turn off the comps for now. Mixture. Lean for taxi. Okay, so we're going to just lean that out a little bit for taxi. Before takeoff. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to get our taxi clearance, uh, but before we do that, we're going to need to listen to Adis. So let's bring up for flight here. Okay, so Adis is 121.15. Five is set in COM2. Let's go to listen. Santa Maria Public Airport. Eight is information November. 1851 Zulu. Wind 290 at Niner. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 23. Dew point 16. Altimeter 3007. Arriving in parting runway 30. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold door instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information November. Okay, November's current. And let's go ahead and... I'm going to bring up the ATIS over at San Luis Obispo. And we'll set that one in standby. So ATIS there's 120.6. Generally, uh, put our my ATIS frequencies into COM2. So that's in there and on standby. Okay. Four flight goes away, by the way, every time I interact with X plane, so that's going to probably keep happening. I'll try to remind myself to bring it back up each time. Okay, so four flight is synced with X plane. There we are at the FBO, the flashing. Red, uh, blue dot and that'll turn into an airplane once we start moving so here it looks like runway 30 is in use so we'll probably get taxi instructions to come over to Alpha and then we'll go over here and do a run up and then we'll taxi up to the old short line 30 that's the plan so let's go ahead and flip over to our tower frequency Uh, ground frequency rather and we'll put tower in standby so center rate ground one two one point nine set that over here Our com one radio two one nine set and tower frequency once again, before flight goes away, 118.3. So as soon as I click over here, that's going to go away, but I'll keep bringing it back up again. is in standby. Okay. So we have ATIS frequency for San Luis Obispo. We have ground tuned into COM1 and tower in standby COM1. Our altimeter is set, and we're ready to get our taxi clearance. So we're going to turn on common radio. Listen to make sure we're not stepping on anybody. Check one thing here really quick. Niner zero at Niner. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two three. Dew point one six. Altimeter three zero zero seven. Arriving and departing runway three zero. Visual approaches in use. Envoy 58 to the Nine Tennis Center Approach 120. Hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information November. Okay. Envoy 58 to the Nine Tennis Center Approach. Center proper altimeter 300. Their standing information X-ray is current. The visual approach showing 25. Santa Maria Ground, Cherokee 7428 Romeo is at the FBO with November. Taxi VFR departure to the north. Oops. We're 7428 Romeo, Santa Maria Ground, runway 30, taxi via Alpha. Runway 30 via Alpha, 7428 Romeo. Okay, we've got our taxi instructions. Simple one. 
We'll board a uniform. St. Louis Towers, that's 7989, uniform holding short, uh, runway 29, ready for departure to the west. Envoy 5859, Roger, thank you. Turn move heading 220, but just to file the center, maintain 3000. On 459, direction to center, maintain 4000. Number 748, Romeo, center right ground, action disregard. And number 7989, nine, uniform, San Luis Tower, runway 29. Clear for takeoff. And uh, did you want to do patterns or. Were you wanting to go uh, south part? Uh, I'll just stay in. I'll just stay and do some laps in the pattern and I'll depart to the east. Number 7984, runway 29, clear for takeoff, make uh, left close traffic, report midfield each time. Alright, make left close traffic and report midfield 7989, nine, uniform. Number three, Tango Alpha, contact Baker Shield Approach for 18.8. Gonna go over here so I can do a run up and stay out of the way. Number three, Tango Alpha, Baker Shield Approach, Baker Shield Alpha, Timber 3005, Hi, information echo report the airport site. Lindbergh Tower, United 1399, hold short, 27. Okay. Yeah, 1399, Lindbergh Tower, runway 27, clear of takeoff, wind is 28010, altimeter 3007. Brakes, set. 3007, 27, clear for takeoff, United 1399. Rudder trims, set. Okay, elevator trim, which is on the ceiling, is set to neutral, and rudder trim, which is down here, is also set to neutral. Flight controls, free. On the 5859, turn right, heading 030. Elevator. Rudder. Green correct. DG slash artificial horizon slash altimeter. Set. Okay, so we're showing about 187 degrees on the magnetic. Set that here. Well, three tango alpha. Just to verify, do you want the visual approach or uh, your, your correction? You can expect the visual approach, but if you want the the ILS, so they can get to you as well. One nine seven. One nine seven set. With them to get off of Roger. Thank you. Descend and maintain five thousand. Artificial horizon is set and barometric pressure. Number three, taking off a clear visual set. approach. Currently three zero right. Fuel quantity check. Okay, fuel is sufficient and balanced, and we are set to the right Mixture, tank. rich. Mixture, set to full rich. Throttle, 1,800 RPM. Throttle, 1,800. On board 5859, the Santa Barbara Airport is to your 10 and 11 o'clock and 8 miles report in sight. Right, Magneto, 50 RPM drop. On board 5859, clear the visual approach, runway 25, enter a left down, report turning bay. Check. Carpeet, looking for a slight drop in RPMs. Carpeet on, there's a slight drop. Suction gauge, check. Suction Five. gauge is in the green. Engine gauges and ammeter, check. Oil pressure, fuel pressure, and oil temp in the green. Ammeter, we're going to check that right now. Looking for a slight drop. St. Louis Tower, so 7989 right uniform, right here, 50 left down, runway 29. Or 7989 Okay, radios are on, and now we have tower frequency set. I'm going to bring four flight back up, and there it is. So let's go over and set tower frequency at San Luis. So the tower there is 1240. Set that stamp. Right. That would be the only option, yeah. 
5240 set in standby. And just to confirm, we have ATIS on standby. Hello, 5850, have to cancel approach clearance. Fly present heading. Maintain 3000. This would be better for the uh, via wall arm if you've approach. Now we'll put our landing light on. Take off. Transponder. Alt. Transponder set to altitude. Check. Wing flaps. Set for takeoff. Flaps are set to neutral. Cabin door. Latched. Cabin door is latched. On with J59, right heading 110. Normal takeoff. Wing flaps. Set. Carburetor heat. Cold. Carb heat is cold. Mixture. Rich. Mixture set to full rich. Throttle. Full. Okay. I'm going to taxi into position. Four flight back up. Get rid of that. That. Back over here. Oops. United 1399, count the departure. Okay. Over to departure, United 1399, see ya. Number 3, Tango Alpha, call it Vector Show Tower 18.1. Approaching runway 30. Alright. Moment 83. Vector Show Tower number 3, Tango Alpha, 8 miles to the west and right upper left east, uh, 30 right. Yeah, 1399, switch up, watch your radar contact. Number 3, Tango Alpha, Vector Show Tower, runway 30 right, clear to land, wind 3108. We're land 308 to number 3, Tango Alpha. Santa Maria Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo, holding short at 30, ready for departure. We're 7428 Romeo, Santa Maria Tower, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 30, 7428 Romeo. On board for the turn right, heading 130. Approaching runway 30. Entered runway 30, 7,900 feet remaining. That's a super cool feature of four flight. It does so much more and um, still learning all the features. It's great training here on X-Plane. Behaves exactly as it would in the real world. Okay, here we go. Minimize that a little bit and full throttle. Envoy 5859, turn left, heading 305. And we're going to climb out to 3,000 feet and head over to San Luis Obispo. Trimming for 85, there's 85. All right. So the way I have it set up is you can see here the concentric rings. This is a five nautical mile ring. Uh, I've also got a 10 nautical mile ring, so as soon as that ring touches the San Luis airspace here, we'll give them a call and get our clearance for landing. It's pretty much a straight out, straight line. On the page 59, 9 miles from Zach's. Maintain 3000 until established final approach course. Cleared VOR, would you approach? So I'm going to stay on with Santa Maria Tower until we clear their airspace right here, class delta airspace. Coming up on 2000, looking for 3000. Good afternoon, Vanguard's Clarence, Gamma Jet 860, Information Sierra, I fly to Henderson. 1856 Zulu, wind variable at 860, Vanguard's Clarence. Visibility 10, sky condition, clear, uh, quest, stand by. temperature 24. Dew point one three, altimeter three zero zero six. Arriving on departing runway nine. Visual approaches in use. 
Read uh, back all homework assignments and help short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information. Echo. Squawk 7321. San Luis Aldi Regional Airport. Eight. This information echo. 185609. Visibility 1 0. Departure Sky condition 2 clear. Temperature 2 4. Dew point 1 3. Altimeter 3006. Arriving in the party in my visual approach is in use. Read backhaul runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information echo. San Luis Tower, 7989, your form 1 left base for runway 29. On for 5859, turn right 10 degrees, join the final approach, Corey. Alright, we're still in their airspace, we're going to stay on. Tower frequency. Uh, uniform, like, you know, I click the option. Yeah, we're set for 2300 RPM. Good option, 29, So you see this green line here? Um, that's because I have it set to leave what they call breadcrumbs. So you can kind of look at your ground track after any flight. On right, for 5859, say heading. Roger. All right, we're clear of their airspace. I'm switching over to. San Luis Tower. So again, we're looking for the uh, 10 nautical mile ring to come uh, here. Uh, to the San Luis Tower, Tower on that point seven. Point seven. So we're doing 114 over ground, not too bad. Got 17 nautical miles to go. And that is ground, Gamma Jet 860, Northwest Ramp, Sierra Bay Taxi. Center Robert Tower, runway 5859, BR25. Off of 5859, Center Robert Tower, runway 25, clear to land, wind 2004. Clear to land 25, runway 5859. Gamma Jet 860, last ground, runway 16, right, taxi by Alpha Charlie. 6 right Alpha Charlie, Gamma Jet 860. Alpha 13 right Alpha, where do you park? Oh, we're going to be FBO south, uh, at least. 13 right Alpha, taxi ramp by Alpha, this frequency, Alpha, nice day. Alpha, this frequency, reaching up, okay. Count 1399, count that, so we call it 128.1. Airport. A disinformation oh, echo. Airport is one eight. Uh, request taxi. Yeah, yeah. we got from the eight. We're on the uh, south end, south east. Uh, the uh, FBO. Yeah, thirteen ninety nine. So call approach. The gentleman altimeter three zero zero six. And the four three six two A. Gentleman ground taken. Uh, Arctic 4362 X-ray, request permission to taxi, we have the weather, and uh, we're on southeast, uh, in the field, down near that field. Do I show you what are your intentions? Uh, re request permission to taxi to the active. For six what do you want to do when you get to the runway? Oh, short. For six fish, you jump pattern work, or do you want to depart from a certain direction? I need, need more information. Pattern work. For four three six two X ray, squawk for that radio traffic. Six three two four. Squawk six three two four. Arch six two X ray. Arch four three six two X ray. Back correct. Runway two zero left. Taxi via Alpha. Hotel. Charlie Kilo. Yeah, San Luis Terrace, that's 7989. Uniform left downwind, 29, uh, request departure for the, to south. Come on, you're far departure south, it's have a nice day. San Luis Terrace, Cherokee, 7428 Romeo, 10 miles south with Echo landing. Delta 2437, you're on frequency. Who 
Russell's call. San Luis Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo is one zero miles south with Echo for full stop. Seven four two eight Romeo, San Luis Tower, make straight runway two nine and report three mile final. Straight in for two nine and report three mile final. Seven four two eight Romeo. Okay, so we have four three six two. Actually, I just want to make sure you heard those taxi instructions. Runway two zero left, taxi via Alpha Hotel, Charlie Kilo. So these black lines here, uh, uh, I'm sorry, set up the map to give us uh, you said it one more time, runway please. center line. I can't really hear you that well. It's really handy because right now, the 4362 actually on my 20 left, taxi by Alpha, uh, the extended Hotel, line for Charlie, Kilo. So I can make my turn to first straight in. The other uh, nice feature is, and you Alpha can set Hotel, this up for Kilo. any number of different yes. metrics. For 62 actually, it's required to about the runway at silent yeah, right, 20 right, left. For descent to land. At your destination, so I'm going to right now at 530 Kilo, minute, sure we're going to be right down to the airport elevation. Sure. So I'm going to go okay, ahead. 50 and 59 is clear at 25. Power back and just make a nice gentle cruise descent. On board 58, 59, taxi ramp by Alpha. Bravo, cross 1-5 right, 1-5 right, we're going to go right here. To Alpha and Bravo to the ramp cross 1-5 right and 1-5 left with you on board 58, 59. Get it. Arriving in departing runway 29 er Visual approaches in use. Need back to back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information echo. San Luis Aldi Regional so Airport. 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 This information echo. Airport. 1856 Zulu. Transition One variable at 3. Visibility 10. Sky condition. Squawk 4167. No telling exactly what the wind is. So it's 2202 clear to Sacramento. Chef, uh, Padre's departure, Chapter transition has filed Columbia SID. So there's a 19.6, block 4167. Okay, it's 2202, you're back, correct. 500 feet per minute. Coming up on 2500 pattern. Altitude is. Go ahead, it's tire gamage at 860, hold 116, right, ready to go. 1200, depicted right here at the top. Gamma Jet 860, but I'm not going to take off. 50 exactly on the right, Gamma Jet is reported by Tower at ASOS. Wind's variable. Brakes, lift off, clock, after takeoff, oil pressure, check. So we're going to go ahead and turn off. Fuel pump off, above, fuel, fuel pump's pressure, off. check, fuel pressure's and root climb, airspeed, throttle, full, mixture. Uh, 2437, send 5, lucky 1 arrival, Portland, 5 level 340. 55 to 75, fuel pump off, elevator trim, adjust, mixture, lean as required. Right, so 2437, send 5, lucky 1 arrival, Portland, 5 level 340. Fuel tank selector, fullest. All right, we're going to switch over to the left tank. Fuel pump on. Turn on the fuel pump. Lights as required. Landing light is on. Carburetor heat, check. Carb heat is on. Mixture, rich. Mixture set to Seat rich. Belts, secure. Landing. Airspeed, 85 miles per hour, 74 kts. Fuel pump on. Wing flaps set as required. Gamma Jet 860, kind of departure. After landing. Departure, Gamma Jet 860. Okay. Yeah, 1399 to set and maintain 3000. The uh, LA altimeter right there, to section 3006. Yeah, we're not quite on the three mile final yet. We're at 4.6. Go ahead and put our first notch flaps. 
intro for that. Coming up on 3.8. Second notch. San Luis Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo is on three mile final for Romeo 29. From 7428 Romeo, Romeo 29, clear to land. Clear to land, Romeo 29, 7428 Romeo. 100. Kilo J86 is a kind of departure, radar contact, uh, climb and maintain uh, 9 or 1000, turn left heading 330. And final notch of flaps, and we'll pitch for Three mile 80. final runway two nine. So we're going to pitch for speed and, and uh, either add or take away power for our rate of descent. So right now we're on Glide's globe with the poppy light indicators red over white. So we're good there. Here's the ACC foot right lane, climb maintain one three thousand. Nice stable approach. Change the sync rate. We had a little bit of power. So you can see our Pappy lights are. Yeah, 1399 contact. So Tom approach 124 point matter. Ramp for two. Ramp back to Ramp via Alpha. This frequency. Ramp via Alpha. This frequency. Ramp for two. Yeah, thirteen nine nine. We get five traffic to your ten o'clock. Moving eleven o'clock. Two miles. Uh, north, east bound. Two thousand seven hundred indicated type button not to them verify. Okay, after landing checklist. Wing flaps up and locked. Flaps up. Fuel pump off. Before three six two. Actually, need to make sure you're squawking the correct code. Uh, off. Squawk 6324, please. 6324. Off. Oh, copy. 6324 or 62 extra. Carburetor. Heat. Cold. Carbonate. Throttle 800 RPM. Transponder. Stand by. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off all together so get ready for shutdown. Engine shutdown. Parking brakes. Set. Set. Light slash radio slash transponder. Off. Master switch. Bat slash alt. Off. Mixture. Lean cut off. 
ignition off. All right. Set the park brake. That's finicky. There we go. Set. Okay. Well, the airplane is a little finicky on the ground. The uh, rudder control and steering is twitchy. That's one thing I discovered. Uh, it'll take some getting used to. But all in all, it's a fun little airplane to fly. Uh, every now and then, it's good to every now and then it's good to download different aircraft and uh, give them a try. So I'll be flying this here for a little while longer. Uh, you know, and as I said, the reason for it is uh, I fly the real world um, Cherokee uh, Piper Piper Cherokee Cruiser, and uh, this helps me become familiar with procedures and checklist items and that sort of thing. So uh, I appreciate you joining me today, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.